kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Or is it bang, bang, kiss, kiss? No, it's kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new, then welcome to my channel, which is all about makeup, beauty, and skincare. I give you complete transparency and honesty when it comes to all of my reviews and all of my tutorials. So stick around because I think you're gonna really love this channel. Now today I'm gonna be showing you my top 10 lipsticks. Now this isn't my kind of top 10 in the sense of I'm gonna start from 10 and then show you my number one lipstick. This is overall my top 10 favorite lipsticks when it comes to kind of pink tones, nude tones, peachy coral tones, and even some bold kind of vibrant shades in there too. So I can't wait to show you because I'm trying every single lipstick on for you so you can see exactly why I love it. Now before we head into the video, if you do like this video then please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. You can also catch me on Instagram where you can watch my stories for some daily beauty news. Now without wasting any further time, let's head straight into the video. So this is my favorite rusty shade. I feel like it's perfect for this season as well. The Byredo lipsticks are super, super comfortable and the packaging, I love it because it's like a magnetic lid. So it just snaps into place and it just looks really chic and clean and you don't ever get any kind of staining on the actual lipstick. It doesn't leave fingerprints, like nothing at all. I've never ever had to clean the outside of this lipstick. So with this lipstick, I'm gonna pair it up with a slightly kind of dark brown lip liner. So I'm gonna use the Kevin Oqua Lip Definer in New Naked. I think this is New Naked, yeah. It's like a really nice chocolatey brown. So I'm just gonna line my lips and then I'm gonna go ahead with the lipstick. I'm just gonna go straight in with the lipstick and it honestly is the most comfortable lipstick I've tried. Like it doesn't dry out your lips at all. It leaves a really nice creamy finish, but at the same time, it doesn't look like you're wearing, you know, some cream lipsticks, it just looks like there's too much product on the lips. This one just kind of like, no matter how much you apply, it doesn't keep building up in terms of the amount of product, but you can build up the color. Like it's not so thick, the texture is really nice. It just kind of melts into the lips. This leaves a kind of like, it's almost like a semi sheer finish. So it leaves like almost like a tint to the lip, but it doesn't look dry, like dry basically. So I'm just gonna blend this into the lip line. And that is how this lipstick looks. So I personally love that rusty color, but I don't, for some reason, I just don't see a lot of brands having this rusty finish. The ones that I have seen, they're either too kind of, too orangey or they're too brown. So it just looks really dark on the skin. And with my skin color, I need something which is a, has that little bit of vibrancy in there. With this, I feel like I don't have to retouch this throughout the day. It kind of stays in place, but personally, I don't like that overly kind of lipstick look so that's my preference again like you might want to reapply this throughout the day but it is a lipstick that you can keep in your bag and reapply without having a mirror on hand because it has that kind of texture where it's not ultra pigmented but it's almost like an imp this is the best way for me to describe this lipstick it's semi balm semi sheer lipstick with a punch of pigment so hopefully that makes sense but the color it's really got that punchy color in there but it's it's comfortable on the lips, it's like a balmy finish to it, but you get the color everywhere and it's slightly transparent and it looks healthy on the lips. Like it doesn't look overly drying and it just looks good and it feels comfortable. Like you don't feel like you're wearing any lipstick. I would say it goes with most kind of nudish brown lip liners. And if you don't need to wear lip liner, that's great, great. You don't actually have to wear a lip liner with this either, but I love it with a lip liner. So yeah, that is my first lipstick. This one is the Marc Jacobs lipstick in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Or is it Bang Bang Kiss Kiss? No, it's Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. <laughs> this is a really nice pink, but it's a pink that does complement my skin tone because obviously you have different undertones in different reds, different pinks, different browns. 
and I always like to have not always, not with every tone to be fair. Some of them I like to have more of a cool undertone. Some I prefer to have more of a warmer undertone. It is really up to you in terms of what undertone you wanna go for, or if you even wanna think about undertone. Personally, if you are new to makeup or you don't understand the whole undertone situation, if I were you, just try the lipsticks on and see what they look like. If it looks good on your skin tone, great. If it looks a little bit off to you, then obviously you need a different color so you know if you don't want to get involved in the whole undertone business then just leave it at that and just try on whatever you like and if you like it great so maybe I will do another video separately on undertone for those of you who do want to understand the whole undertone thing it's a whole different subject because it's different for lipsticks it's different for foundations. So with this color, this is a color, it's a nice pink. I don't wear pinks that often, but obviously, like I said, I wanted to kind of like pick the lipsticks that I feel are, for me, are the best lipsticks for that specific color. I do have different, again, undertones within here. So there's like maybe two pinks and two reds that are different undertones for me. The packaging is great. I personally love chunky lipsticks, like chunky packaging and I love the magnetic lids because I don't have to worry about that coming off in my bag anywhere and it, trust me, it has happened to me before and it is a nightmare. So, and it's happened in my, oh my God, it's happened in my, my kit. That's usually where it happens because I don't usually actually carry lipsticks around with me, like for myself, but in my makeup kit for clients, I have several different kits to be fair with you. It's not just one kit for each client. I have different kits because it depends on the type of client. It also depends how many I have in the day because I have different sets of brushes for numerous clients. And I've had a lipstick fall apart in my lipstick case and lipstick is actually really difficult to get off of materials. So that's just annoying. But anyway, this one, I love the packaging. It is a magnetic lid again. So I don't have to worry about it kind of like falling apart anywhere. Also the lipstick is comfortable, but I'm gonna use my lip liner first. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude for this because I just need an everyday nude that's gonna go with this kind of color. I don't necessarily use the same color lip liner. So that's another tip for you. You don't have to use a matching lip liner. You can use a lip liner, like a generic lip liner that you keep, and it should go with all colors other than maybe red or like bright pinks. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. And this is a really nice creamy lipstick. I like kind of mattifying, like as in dabbing it with a tissue. So what I do is I take the excess off with the tissue first. Then I start blending with my lip brush because if I start blending when all of that product is on there, when when you know a lot of product comes off, then I feel like it can be, it's just sliding around everywhere. So this way it's just the right amount that I'm blending. One more blot, that's it. I kept using dab, the word dab. I was using, I was trying to look for the word blot. That was it, I blot. I was thinking to myself, that doesn't sound right, dab. There's a name for that and it's blotting. So what do you think? This is the pink lipstick that I like personally. There's a couple of different shades of pinks that I like, but this is one of them because I feel like it, like I said, it, I feel like it suits my skin tone. I don't like lipsticks unless it's a red or I'm going for an actual fuchsia shade. I don't like any of the other colors to look so kind of like, oh my God, what's going on? There's all you can see is the lips. So for me, I feel like if, I'm, if I wanna wear a pink, which isn't often, this is the shade, this is the product, the brand, that I would go for because it does stay on and I feel like it's a good, nice color pink. It's not like, you know, the kind of pink where, I, I, I guess the reason I'm coming across like this is because I generally don't like pink. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why I'm a bit kind of like, oh, you know, pink. But this, this is a nice pink. I feel like it's a slightly kind of, it's a muted pink, if that makes sense. So I like this color and I feel like it does bring out a lot more color like vibrancy in the face as well. So it's comfortable on the lips. You can reapply this throughout the day. What I do recommend though, is you do blot. There's the word blot. You do blot with a tissue because when you first apply it, it can be like, there's a lot of product. If you remember on the previous lipstick, I mentioned that, you know, when you use that, a lot of product doesn't come off, but you get the pigment. With this, you do get a lot more product that comes off onto the lips. So you probably do want to blot because personally, I don't like it when it looks like there's so much product and I'm not talking about the color, I'm talking about the actual product. So yeah, that is the pink that I like. And let's move on to the next. Mm -hmm. 
So this one is the Fenty Beauty Matte Moselle Plush Lipstick in Single. I love this shade. So obviously with the packaging, it's really nice and kind of slim. It's quite long, so you do get a lot of lipstick in here. Like I, I'm not sure if it would be more than the other kind of normal standard shape lipstick because it's a lot thinner and longer, so it might actually be the same. But I like the size of it because I like that it's, even though I usually like chunky packaging lipsticks, this one is like, it's just, it's even though it is a slim lipstick, it's still sturdy. It's, I don't feel like it's plasticky and it's gonna fall apart. And secondly, obviously it's great for your handbag if you do wanna carry a lipstick around with you. This color is really nice. I do always feel the need to just slightly moisturize my lips beforehand. So what I'm gonna do is just apply a little bit of my Dior Lip Maximizer. That's the standard lip balm that I would use before I put lipsticks on. It's just like a lip plumper, but it's got, it's really kind of hydrating. So I usually take off the excess because I don't want it to be glossy before I put my lipstick on. So I'm gonna apply my lip liner, same as before the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude because it goes perfectly with this. I'm gonna go straight in with this lipstick. I don't apply it all the way to the edges because there is a lot of product that comes off with this. So you can kind of like spread it around, but what I am gonna do is very quickly blot. And that takes off the excess. And there you go, that's what this one looks like. So as you can see, I don't know if you could tell when I actually put the lipstick on, but it is, like it, I said, it's a matte lipstick. So it comes off very matte when you first apply it. You don't get that creamy finish although it doesn't feel drying on the lips, um, especially if you compare it to like liquid lipsticks. I didn't include any liquid lipsticks because I just wanted to go for the standard lipsticks today. This is a really good lipstick. It's, it's not drying, my lips don't feel dry. So even though it is a matte lipstick, it, I still feel like I'm getting that kind of like hydration. But bear in mind, I did apply a kind of balm underneath, which kind of helps to hydrate my lips that little bit extra. So I would definitely recommend using a lip liner. I personally love using lip liner with all my lipsticks, so that's up to you. But I, there are some lipsticks like this, which are quite light. I feel like it's a little bit paler than my skin. So I always feel like I have to wear a kind of slightly darker lip liner. But I mean, Iconic Nude goes with more or less every lipstick, I think. This is what this one looks like. So this one is a full on throwback. This is the MAC lipstick in Ruby Woo. This used to be my favorite ultimate red and there's been, there have been several reds since then that I do love wearing. Honestly, it is still one of the best reds. Like if you want a true red, I feel like it is a great red. I mean, the MAC lipsticks are great anyway. Personally, I do love MAC lipsticks, probably more than some of the other products. I really do like the lipsticks because you get nearly every color that you could want. And I'm gonna use a MAC lip liner with this. I'm using the lip liner in brick. I this has always been my combo so the brick lip liner with Ruby Woo lipstick has always been my red lip combo whenever I've worn Ruby Woo so brick lip liner personally I think is amazing because it goes with more or less every red it just gives you that touch of darkness so that it's not like a like just like a red red it like gives there's some depth in your lip if that makes sense so I'm going to move on and apply my lip liner and then apply the lipstick I'm pretty excited about this one as you can probably tell because I haven't worn Ruby Woo in so long but it is one of my favorite like ultimate red lipsticks it's great I'm going to get a mirror and go close up with this because it's a red so you know, we've got to make sure we get that lip line perfect. So I always feather in the lip when I'm using a red lip, uh, lip liner, I always feather it in a, li a little bit so that it's just easy for the lipstick to kind of like blend in. Oh my God. This lipstick brings back so many memories. I used to wear this all the time if I was going out in the evening. I'm sure, isn't it nice that, that, that you always have like certain makeup that just brings back memories, like and hopefully good memories for you. This lipstick is just, I just had, I just remember going out in the, like whenever I used to go out in the evenings, which wasn't often to be fair. I just used to love wearing this lipstick. I felt like it, it just completely finished my look. And you know what? This honestly has just 100% confirmed that this is one of my favorite reds. I love it. I don't often feel this 
confident with a red. There are certain reds where I feel like it's just a little bit too, how can I put this like, mm, you know, like standard red. And this is one of those reds where it's like, wow, I really love this red. So yeah, hopefully you do too. Tell me what you think of this. Another thing is with the texture, I love the texture. It finishes like a velvety matte. It, do, it isn't drying on the lips at all. And I can tell you this because I remember wearing it and I used to apply it once and I never used to have to reapply this lipstick again throughout the evening. It gives you this really nice velvety finish. Like it doesn't dry out your lips. You can still kind of press them together without feeling like, oh my God, my lips are like turned into prunes. It is something that I think is comfortable. You don't have to keep reapplying it. It gives you that really nice velvet finish to the lip and doesn't get kind of bitty throughout the evening. It, it is just an overall great red. And now it's the Kat Von D lipstick in Lolita 2. They originally had a Lolita, which was very popular, but I always felt that that was too dark. And finally they came out with a Lolita 2 a little bit later on, and it's just the perfect shade. So it's that same tone, which I loved, but it's just not as dark. And this comes in a really sturdy case. It's black and it's studded, so it's pretty cool. It doesn't have a magnetic lid, so it doesn't kind of like snap back into place, but it's a big click. So you really got to press it down and it clicks into place and you know the lid is just not going to come off. So yeah, it's generally nice in terms of the packaging. I don't know if you've ever had this, but with some lipsticks, you try and put it on and then the lipstick just breaks. Obviously don't hold, don't put too much of it kind of like, don't screw too much of it out. Like don't put it all the way to the end and then start applying it. Just keep it as low down as you can and then apply it. That's just a random little thing note there that I, only because earlier I was trying a lipstick on and and it just fell to the side, like it just, and then I was just like, okay, that's just rubbish. So yeah, so th these lipsticks are all generally very good, good quality as well. So I feel like you're gonna get what you pay for and the colors are really nice and the textures are nice. So this one in particular, I love this color. I'm gonna go ahead and use my lip liner. I'm using the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Boundless Berry. And I'm just gonna apply this first, just very lightly and then apply the lipstick. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lipstick. Oh, this is such a nice color. Obviously, these are my like, my 10 favorite lipsticks. I don't wear all of them enough, if you see what I mean. I'm like, I'll go through a phase where one of them is my favorite for a little while and then there'll be another one. But these are all lipsticks that I personally really love. It's just, when I apply it, it just reminds me of how much I love it. So this one, not too much product comes out, so I don't really need to blot it yet. I'm just gonna mix in the lip liner, just blend that into the actual lipstick, just so there's no separation there. Now I feel like it could do with a little kind of blotting. So I'm just gonna blot my lips. Oh, I love it. See, it's just like finish it, it's so creamy, and then you blot it, and it leaves this really nice kind of matte finish to your lip. And considering it's quite a dark lip for me, I still like it. It's obviously not as dark as the original Lolita. It's still really nice. Like, I feel like it's not too dark. I still have some color there. So yeah, it feels really creamy on the lips, really creamy. It doesn't feel heavy. It still looks matte once I've blotted it, and I love it. So this is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and it's called Cat Walking. This is actually a recent addition for me. I am going to be honest, I've never really liked the lipstick Pillow Talk because it just looks weird on me. It looks like dark. It, it just looks weird on me. So and even the lip liner. So I prefer Iconic Nude, which is a shade which I absolutely love that lip liner. Iconic Nude is amazing. It goes with nearly every lipstick that I put on. The lipstick, this lipstick, even though I don't usually like kind of browns too dark, this is a lipstick which is so nice on. So I'm gonna put this on. The lipstick case obviously is, I love the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. It's a really nice kind of plush gold lipstick. It, the lid clicks into place, doesn't, you don't have a problem with it kind of falling off or anything. And the lipstick is, again, they're all good quality lipstick. So I'm gonna apply my Iconic Nude lip liner and then go in with the lipstick. So I put my lip liner on, I'm gonna move in with my lipstick. This is generally quite a hydrating lipstick, I find anyway. So I haven't actually got any balm or anything on underneath. 
I find I'm using this lipstick on my clients a lot as well recently. They love it. Okay, so hopefully you can see what I see. I think this is part of her 90s collection. Uh, the 90s, the nude 90s or something, or the 90s nude collection. Nude 90s, I don't think it's nude 90s. <laughs> it's a 90s nude collection. I don't know what it is anyway. It's, yeah, it's called Catwalking and it really is one of my favorite browns that I have ever had because I don't often wear a brownish lipstick. This I love because it's not so vibrant, but it's not a brown that looks muddy. I feel like it's a nice color brown. I, you know, obviously it depends on your skin tone as well, whether this is gonna suit you. It will obviously look a lot darker if it's on someone much like lighter skin tone than me. And if you are darker skin tone than me, then it's gonna look much lighter, obviously. So it depends on your skin tone. This kind of like, I feel like it's got like a, a hint of kind of pinkish peach in there. Really, really subtle, but overall it's a brownish shade and I personally really love it. So it's just something Think that I think you can still wear on a day-to-day -day basis and it isn't kind of like overly in your face. Very creamy on the lips. Like I said, I didn't actually put any balm on underneath on this lipstick. So I know at the end of this video, I'm really gonna have to put a lip mask or something on because the number of times I've cleaned, wiped my lipstick off. Yeah, this is a great lipstick. I don't really feel like I have to apply this, apply this throughout the day. Once I've applied it and I've kind of blot it, I did blot this by the way, then it's fine. It just stays in place. I don't have a, obviously be careful how you eat and drink, but yeah, it generally stays on all day and it's a great everyday lipstick for me. So this is the lipstick I'm having a bit of a phase with. It's quite a long phase, to be honest. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in Hollywood. As you can see, I've nearly finished it and I can't seem to find another one. So it's stressing me out just a little bit, you know? So hopefully I'll find one before I completely run out of this. Packaging is great. It's a click on lid, stays in place. No problem in that sense. It is just a great, I love this color. It's just a great peachy, sh I love peach. I just love peach at the moment. And it's actually been, like I said, quite a long phase where I just love peach. So with this, I use the Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury as my lip liner. The lipstick itself generally isn't overly creamy. I'm gonna be honest, it's not, it doesn't feel hydrating. I always tend to put like a little bit of a balm underneath. So I've already put a very small amount of my Dior Lip Maximizer underneath. I always do that with this lipstick. And then I apply it on top, which is totally fine. It just kind of glides on and it does kind of stay in place. This is probably one of the lipsticks I do feel that I could do with reapplying throughout the day. I don't, I don't take it with me to be honest, I just leave it here at home. I do notice that it's not as peachy and like punchy later on in the day, which is fine. I just let it fade and I just leave it as it is. I'm not too fussed about that. But if you want it to look fresh, you know, the same color as it does in the morning, then I would suggest taking it with you just to reapply. But generally it does kind of, it stays in place. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna go straight in and I actually only apply a little bit. There you go, that's all I apply. And then I just go ahead and blend this in. So you can see it's pretty like, it's quite a pale peach. And I just blend this into my lip line. I blot that once. Now this is it. This is the lipstick that I am obsessed with like I've been obsessed with for so long now. It is also the lipstick that I get the most comments about on my YouTube channel. So most of you guys, when you see me in other videos and you always ask, what is that lipstick that you're wearing? This is the lipstick because it's just a nice finish as well. It goes perfectly with the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. This is the Bobbi Brown lipstick in Mauve Over, and it's a really nice mauve shade. Oh my God, that scared the life out of me. Nico, <laughs> that really scared me. He just, he's trying to get in. So I, all I heard was this like big sniff. Anyway, and it's a really nice mauve shade. It's super matte. They actually do really good matte lipsticks, by the way. So if you want an ultra matte lipstick, which doesn't feel to dry or powdery on the lips, then Bobbi Brown is a good option. Now this, the packaging is great. I actually had this one, actually. <laughs> 
I thought I had this one engraved. They've given me, I thought it said my name, but it says Nora on it. So you know how you have these PR events? I went to a PR event and I picked my favorite lipstick and they said, oh, we're gonna engrave it for you. I didn't even look at this. It says Nora. Anyway, yeah, it's a really good lipstick. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever lip liner in Boundless Berry. Again, I've already used this on a previous lip color, I don't know which one, but this one goes quite well with it. I feel like brown is gonna to be too much of a, it's just too much of a difference in color. I'm gonna go straight in with this lipstick. And you can see, even though it is kind of like quite a matte lipstick, it does glide on really easily. So there you go, that's this lipstick. It's super comfy on the lips, but it does give you that really nice matte finish. Again, most of the lipsticks that I'm showing you are like, it's a matte, or actually I think every one of them is kind of like gives a matte finish. It's only a couple that give you that kind of sheer creamy finish. And if it does, I always tend to blot it because I just prefer, I just don't want too much, I don't wanna to see too much texture on my lips. I like it to look quite matte. So yeah, this is generally a really good lipstick. It's a great mauve color, as you can see. So it kind of like, I think it's one of those colors that would suit everyone, but bear in mind when you see lipsticks on me, it doesn't mean it's gonna look like that on you because my skin tone is different and it can always look slightly different on you. So it may look brighter on you or it might look darker on you. It might kind of look not so great on you. Or it might suit you even better. So just go with that obviously when you're picking any of these lipsticks for yourself. Next up is another red. It's the Rouge Dior 999 lipstick. This is a really nice red, but it does have more of that orangey finish to it. So that's why it's so different to the other reds that I showed you, the Ruby Woo from MAC. It's a lot brighter. It, well, the other one's bright as well, but it's a, I feel like that's a red. This is more of an orangey red and it, it is a really nice red. It's just another, it's a different option for me. It definitely isn't the same as the other red and you'll see that when I put it on. I mean, what can I say about Dior? The Dior lipsticks, Dior packaging as a whole is amazing. I love it. I love their packaging. I love the kind of quilted finish and quilted detailing on some of their products. This lipstick, it doesn't have a magnetic lid. Let me check. No, but it does click into place and it does stay in place. It's not, come on, it's Dior, right? So I'm gonna use a different lip liner for this. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Rosary. Rosary or Rosary lip liner. Just gonna kind of create my lip line and then apply this on top. Okay, so you'll be able to see what I mean. It's not, well, hopefully you can because I can, hopefully you can see it through the camera that, you know, it's a very different red to the Ruby Woo. This, as you can see, this is a lot brighter. So this is, this has more of an orange, it's an orangey red on my skin tone anyway, that's how it looks, I feel. In com like compared to the other red I showed you, I do feel it's very different. The other red is more of a deep red for me and it's still got that punchiness in there. Whereas this is a lot more vibrant. It's more of a kind of fiery red and it's also a great, it's, it's also a really good red, but it's just more, more fiery, slightly orangey compared to the other red. And that's why I have those two kind of reds. It depends what I feel like. This one I've probably worn more recently and the Ruby Woo, I hadn't worn it for a while, but it is an all time favorite of mine. But this is another red that I have worn quite recently, like I said, and I do like it. It's super creamy on the lips, by the way. Doesn't have as much of a matte finish as the MAC Ruby Woo, but you can give it that matte finish by blotting it straight away. That's just kind of matte it down mattified it so you know it depends how you want to wear it but you can keep it creamy if you want to and even from matting it like that color is going to stay by the way this stays on all day you don't get that it doesn't fade it stays put and plus i've paired it up with a really good lip liner the kat von d lip liners are amazing they glide on literally just glide on so easily you don't get that sharp finish with it though because it's that kind of you, you've got to twist it and you can't sharpen the tip i don't think another one of my favorites
Lastly, we're on to another MAC lipstick. It is the Retro Matte Lipstick in Flat Out Fabulous. This is another one of those lipsticks that brings back so many memories. For me, I used to wear this all the time. I mean, I think I've got quite a few of these lipsticks. I remember collecting them. I remember collecting, like stocking up on Flat Out Fabulous and Ruby Woo because back then, well, even now I think, they always end up discontinuing the ones that are really good. So I just kind of like stocked up. So I've got loads of these. This is like the ultimate, ultimate pink. So I, I used to be a lot more daring when I was younger, like in terms of lip colors. I think that's probably because I went out more in the evening than I do now. But I'm gonna pair this up with another MAC lip liner. It's the lip liner in magenta. And I used to, this was my ultimate combo as well. When I used to wear this pink, I always paired it up with the lip liner called magenta. Now again, I don't need to go through the packaging. I've been through that with you. It's a great lipstick. It's a classic, classic lipstick. Like MAC just do really good lipsticks. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. I do like to add a tiny bit of balm underneath this, so I have added that again. You can probably tell that as we've gone, up, gone on throughout the video, my lips have got paler and paler because with certain colors, they stain a little bit and I've had to, when I'm taking it off, it kind of takes off the foundation around the lip. So I've had to kind of go in with a little bit of foundation over my lips and powder it down just so that you can really see exactly what that lip color would, would look with that perfectly kind of finished lip liner. Same thing as before, I always feather the lip liner inwards just so that it doesn't look so disconnected when I try blending in my lipstick. So now I'm gonna go in with my lipstick. I'm excited about this one too because I haven't worn this in ages and it, it's always been one of my favorites. I love this color. I know these are like really, some of them are really, really out there, but honestly, I never had a problem wearing this. So I clearly quite confident in my makeup. I genuinely love this color. Like it's something which again, is a matte lipstick. It, even though it is a retro matte, it, it, it does definitely stays in place by the way. I know this one used to always leave a stain. And so I know it's gonna leave a stain now when I take it off, but it, it's a great lipstick. You don't have to reapply this. Once this is on, that's it, it stays on. Because it's so vibrant, you, you don't lose that color. That color stays there. And it isn't drying on the lips. As long as you do put kind of balm on the lip beforehand, I always put it in the center and then I blot it. So I don't put it all the way across all over the lip. As long as you've got it in the center, your lips will feel fine. They won't feel like they're getting dry or anything. And yeah, it's a really nice lipstick. It is, it's something different. It's great if you don't want to really wear much else makeup. Much else, does that even make sense? Like much makeup everywhere else. You know, you can still wear like a pair of lashes, foundation base, and, and then just put some of this on. Like you don't have to wear much eye makeup at all. But yeah, this is the last lipstick, even though it is the last one. This isn't in order of priority and or in order of what I love. This has just been my favorite lipsticks within those kind of colors. So like for a hot pink, this is the, the, the shade that I would go for. And I wanted to share that with you guys. So I am now gonna take this off and I'm gonna give my lips like smother them in lip balm and just let them rest because I have continuously been rubbing my lips to take off this lipstick so that it can give you a fresh look each time I put the new lip color on. So there you go, those are my top 10 lipsticks. I hope you've enjoyed this video and every single lipstick is in the description box below. If I haven't managed to find the exact same lipstick, then I always find you the best alternative. So, as always, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.